mabuhay or in kapampangan luwit kayo. And in Thai, sawat di krap. In my previous video, we learned about the history of foreigners in the ancient but once powerful kingdom of Ayutthaya. But long before Europeans gained a strong presence in Ayutthaya, other Southeast Asians have already established deeper connections with the ancient Thai people. One of the foreign armies present in Ayutthaya were the Kapampangan warriors from Luzon or what is now Luzon in the Philippines. My ancestors, my people. So back in the 16th century, the Kapampangan warriors aided Ayutthaya in defending itself during their constant wars against the Burmese. Ayutthaya was under siege in 1547 to 1549 and the warriors of Luzon were there to protect the city from the invading army and the war elephants of Burma or what is now Myanmar. Several decades later, Prana Reswan, the most well-known and perhaps the most beloved king of Ayutthaya, sought the help of his fathers and his grandfathers, old Kapampangan allies, in his attempt to subdue the Kamai in a war against Longvek in what is now Cambodia. But this time, there was a plot twist. The Ayutthayan diplomatic mission bearing gifts such as elephants that Nareswan sent to seek the aid of the Kapampangan warriors of Lusong across the sea was intercepted and was killed by their Portuguese guide. The Portuguese guide, Diego Veloso, was secretly hoping to gain the favor of Nareswan's enemy, the older Kamai king of Longvec. In the middle of their voyage, Veloso and his Spanish assistant, Blas Ruiz, murdered the Thai diplomats and took over the mission. And by this time, Luzon had just recently been colonized under Spanish rule, and Spain had big ambitions in expanding its influence across Southeast Asia. Once the mission reached the port of Manila in 1595. Veloso and Ruiz presented the diplomatic gifts, including the elephants, and they told the Kapampangans and the Spaniards that they were sent by the Kamai king asking for help to liberate Longvec from Ayutthaya. And as a result of these lies, the Kapampangans ended up helping Cambodia defend itself from Ayutthaya. But who were these Kapampangan warriors? These Kapampangan warriors were known to early Europeans as the Arquebuseros de Pampanga after a type of firearm called the Arquebus. And throughout the colonial period, the Spaniards took advantage of the skilled Kapampangan warriors. In fact, the bulk of the colonial army were from Indung Kapampangan. And as the Spaniards once said, one Castilian plus three Kapampangan is equal to four Castilians. But even before being colonized, the ancient Kapampangans were highly respected and sought after warriors in the region. They were widely known as manufacturers and exporters of firearms in Asia long before Europeans dominated the region we now call Southeast Asia. The warriors of Lusong have also fought for the Burmese, or what is now Myanmar. They have fought wars in places like Malacca in what is now Malaysia, Sumatra in what is now Indonesia, and many other places across the region. The Kapampangans were also the ones who defeated the Dutch Navy when they tried to invade Manila and take over the Philippines from the Spaniards in 1646. But more on that in a future video. The idea that pre-colonial Philippines lacked advanced weaponry and was isolated from the rest of Southeast Asia and the greater Asian geopolitics before the discovery and prior to colonization is nothing but a colonial myth. The warriors of Luzong or Luzon played an important role in the wars and the diplomacy of pre-colonial Southeast Asia. They were involved in fighting in the 16th to the 17th century wars between the ancient kingdoms of what are now Thailand, Myanmar, Laos, and Cambodia. The Kapampangans were proven to be vital allies to Ayutthaya. And even after Luzon fell under Spanish rule, Ayutthaya still sought and asked the Kapampangans for their help. The kingdom of Ayutthaya lasted until 1767 when the capital, the city of Ayutthaya, was sacked siege and burned down by the Burmese. During the Ayutthaya period of Thai history, the country flourished. From art to military and legal reforms, Thailand was thriving and prosperous. At its peak, the city of Ayutthaya was one of the most cosmopolitan cities of the world, and it grew to become a center for diplomacy and trade. Today, the ancient city of Ayutthaya remains home to some of the most spectacular ruins in Thailand, a must-see destination when visiting Southeast Asia.
a splendid city that our Kapampangan ancestors had once visited and whose freedom they had once fought for. Sadly, this history has been forgotten, but perhaps this is now the time to rekindle these ancient and deeper links between our people, the diverse but interconnected people of Southeast Asia. And that is it for me today. If you like this video and learned a thing or two, don't forget to subscribe. And if you want to help me make more videos like this, show your support and please be my patron. Dakalpung salamat. Or in Thai, kopkun krap. See you next time or in Tagalog kita kids and in Kapampangan, Miki Ticks. Or in Thai, lagon krap. Jergan mai.